This is an old manor house that became the stately residence of the Arani Plandolites, one of the most prominent families in the political and economic history of Andorra during the long period extending from 1600 to 1900. It was turned into a museum in 1986. Hey there, so this is the uh, little village of Ordino here in Andorra in the Pyrenees. A very uh, peaceful little town. It's only like uh, five or six miles from the uh, capital of Andorra, of Andorra La Valla. So I took a uh, bus up here. Today is my last day in Andorra. I've been here for a week, staying in the uh, capital city and exploring around, doing lots of hiking. Still sore from the uh, very steep hills here. And so just wanted to uh, get one last taste of a Andorran village and get up here and check it out because people had recommended it and I had seen on a list that it was considered one of the uh, prettiest villages in Andorra and in the Pyrenees. And it is definitely really pretty. So this is all new to me. I just uh, got off the bus a few minutes ago and so I'm just walking around, checking it out. It is very quiet. I guess these uh, tables will be busier later in the evening. It is middle of the afternoon and a hot, hot day actually. So the population of Ordino is about 5,000, but that is for the parish. The uh, parish is uh, surrounding uh, the town here, and it is the same name. It is also called Ordino, and so there are uh, various parishes throughout Andorra. It's kind of like states, you could say, of the U.S. or maybe counties, different you know areas of the country of Andorra. And so Ordino is both the uh, town and the parish. And so the parish population is 5,000, which means the uh, town is less than that. And there's the Pyrenees. Very, very steep. And you really learn that when you go for a hike. And so I've been exploring around Andorra for the past week and just thought that I would uh, mention a little bit of what I've seen. Basically, I've uh, stayed in the uh, capital city of Andorra La Vella, uh, 
whole time and taken buses out to the various villages to do hikes. My uh, first hike that I did, I actually just walked straight out of the uh, main town there and headed right up into the mountains and got way back into the uh, Pyrenees, found a refugee for hikers to stay at. And then I did another hike uh, outside of a village very close to here. Took the bus there and then just started uh, walking out of the village and got way up into the Pyrenees once again. I think I'm back on the uh, same street, but there's some more to see this way. Okay, that's where I came from, where I started the video. And then two days ago, then I took the bus to the uh, town of La Paz de la Casa in eastern Andorra, right on the French border, which is a ski resort town. And from there, did a uh, hike up the uh, ski slopes and found a lake up there. And so, uh, La Parroquia de Ordino, a Mosen Cinto Verdeguer, December 1991. And so, uh, really the best way to see the country would be to rent a car in order to be able to uh, get around easier and see more of the uh, further away villages and, and hikes and stuff but uh, the bus system was working and so I just went with that and it worked out great so if you don't want to pay for a car and have to park a car and worry about a car and all that then you can uh, see much of the country of Andorra just by bus okay this might just be a restaurant Yep. So here is uh, one of the bus stops. There was another one up there where I, uh, Got dropped off. Nice uh, mural there. And I will also mention that uh, Andorra is actually surprisingly cheap. Now, uh, not, you know, dirt cheap or anything, but uh, it is definitely less expensive than I had expected. I thought that it was going to be one of these really expensive countries like Switzerland or something, and it really is not. I have a private room for 33 euros. Very small and basic, but uh, decent little room, private bathroom. I had another hotel room for the uh, first four nights that was about uh, $40 per night, so not much more expensive for a very spacious room. And food also is very uh, reasonable. You can uh, eat for 10 to 20 euros or even less for a big plate of food. And drinks are like two to three euros. So definitely a really uh, nice little country to visit. A lot packed in to a small area. You can just stay in the uh, you know main uh, capital city and from there explore around. And I think that a week is a good amount of time to uh, 
explore Andorra. So uh, that's gonna do it for this video. Tomorrow, hopping on a bus, going to France for the uh, third time, but I'm not planning to stay there uh, very long. I'm basically just going there to catch a flight to another country that I've never been to before. So uh, stay tuned, see ya.